What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great, finally, freaking Friday. I am back now from uh, working on the Red Brick House. Got to recharge the batteries, but we will be here, of course, in about two hours from now. Uh, live streaming, talking about what else the Dallas Cowboys were counting down to the draft. You know what's kind of uh, interesting is there's a lot of players out there that are very disenchanted with the teams that they're playing for. Uh, we know Lamar Jackson, although uh, we can say the Ravens have tried to appease him by going out and getting um, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., I think they paid quite a bit too much for him. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll that's working on a 203-year-old house. So don't go by anything I have to say. But um, he's definitely looking for the bag and definitely guaranteed money. We'll see about that. Now, Devin White, linebacker um, extraordinaire, one of the best young linebackers in football, has said that he's basically fed up with Tampa Bay and has requested a trade. Tampa Bay, of course, has basically said, <laughs> you know, we got no plans to move him uh, at all. Um, also, Arizona, man, Arizona got all kinds of problems. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, he wants to get away. He would love to get traded. Um, they would love to be able to trade him, of course, because of his salary hit, cap number. Uh, the thing that you have to understand about big name free agents, they have a shelf life. Um, of about two years. After about two years, they become too expensive to hold on to. But be that as it may, um, Buda Baker is the latest player who's basically said, I want to get away. I'm tired of being here with the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the interesting thing about Buda Baker, you know, safety extraordinaire, he's a great safety and stuff. Would you believe that this is where it's kind of crazy that, you know, people say, yo, man, Buda Baker, man, that guy, he's the bomb, man. He, oh, man, he's incredible. Here's the thing that's kind of interesting is, guess who's got better numbers than he does? J. Ron Curse. Yeah. 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 And see, this is the thing that's always interesting because... There's guys you know by name. They're name players. And you think about what they've done in throughout their career and stuff, and you think, oh, my God, that's a great player. Well, he had 75 sack tackles and two interceptions. Not bad. But you think about J. Ron Curse having 100. Hmm. And you think about J. Ron Curse being a lot more affordable. Okay? Because, see, here's the thing for Buda Baker. He's scheduled for $16.9 million. And they have an option for 2024 for another 18. It's not like he's exactly broke. So he's requesting a trade. He, I, we don't know if this is about the money or if it's about where they think the team is going to be this year. Um, you definitely look and say they got a new coach. Kyler Murray's coming off ACL, won't be ready to start the season. Uh, this will be a rebuilding year, you know, but Buda Baker is only 27 years old. So you start thinking about this and it's kind of like players basically just don't want to wait anymore. They literally are just like, nah, I want to go to a contender and get my ring right now, right now. So there are players out there that want to move the question is is do you want to give up draft capital and do you want to pay the money all right and uh oh wait a minute hold up cowboys ronald jones comeback here all right well we'll get into that in a little bit all right good people i'm gonna go up here and take me a shower because i am dirty i've been up underneath the house um and trying to get myself, uh, get the Red Brick House together. Um, shout out to the donations. Sharon Maxey, shout out to you. Three times, I appreciate you, girl. Um, 
up oh, Hopkins is trending. I see. I, I get up out of the house there. I, I lose all. Uh, Ooh, former NFL executive Michael Lombardi. I was told reliably by somebody who was involved that Lamar Jackson told the Ravens in a conversation, get Hopkins and get Beckham and then we can talk. And the club went back to him and said, look, we can't get Hopkins and Beckham. Hold on, let me play this. Damn. Overnight, uh, Lamar Jackson was reportedly actively recruiting OBJ to the Ravens. He said, quote, there was a clear understanding throughout Beckham's negotiation that the quarterback throwing to him next season is probably going to be Lamar. And this is something I speculated yesterday, Michael, just asking the question for OBJ and your buds with Lamar. Aren't you having this conversation? Maybe it's not assurances that I'm going to be here, but that's the plan that you have in place. I was told reliably by somebody who's involved that Lamar told them in a conversation, get Hopkins and get Beckham and then we can talk. And the club went back to them and said, look, we can't get Hopkins and Beckham. We just can't get both. We can't afford both, but we'll get one of them. And they got Beckham. So they can't get, DeAndre Hopkins is an interesting story, right? So DeAndre Hopkins is available. And But the problem with DeAndre Hopkins is he would be great with Lamar. Not because he's got great speed, because he's exactly what Lamar needs. Someone that you throw the ball anywhere in his area, he's going to catch Reliable, it. Reliable, safety blanket, And he can run right after the catch. Now, he's always covered. He is always covered, but he always catches it. And so, but he wants a raise. He wants more money. And so I think what the Ravens decided was, okay, we can get Beckham. And I think that's why you see the overpayment for Beckham, because they felt like, okay, this is our way to kind of bridge ourselves to Lamar. Interesting. And then you got Eric Bieniemy praising DeAndre Hopkins. So now speculation will be that uh, they're going to try and bring him there. Hmm. Interesting. So will the Ravens try and get Hopkins too? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But things are definitely not good in Arizona right now. Um, Chris Jones says he will be recruiting DeAndre Hopkins to Kansas City as both are participating in the catch on Saturday in Miami. Also said Tariq Hill is not coming to Arrowhead and winning next season. Okay. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is playfully uh, evasive when uh, asked about Chris Jones' recruitment of him to the Kansas City Chiefs and will answer uh, what he learns from Kansas City. So, Kansas City, hmm. Wow, the rich would be getting richer. And, of course, we have the Giants should go out and try and get DeAndre Hopkins. I hear a whole lot of talk, but I don't see any action. And I'm sure that's kind of like where uh, Hopkins is right now. I hear a lot of talk, but I don't see any action. So that's where we are here. We got some unhappy people that want to move. And if you got some money in draft picks, you can get them. Peace.